by the way, so are you talking about the population growth? Humans. Humans? Yeah. So is it a normal thing that there is population growth or you kind of object to population growth? I object to it. But well, what are you going to do about it? Well, what can I do about it? I'm one person. <laughs> what am I? Well, but, but you're one person here. One person can do a lot of things, actually. It starts with one person. I right? <laughs> hey, listen, you start yes. small, okay? But listen, I'm glad exactly. we had this conversation and I wish you well. And I hope at some point you'll learn some stuff. I'm learning. I'm chemical engineer by training. I watch Discovery Channel. I watch like all the science channels. I love science. Right. So you know? at some point, some point you're gonna. You, it's always changing. But I also love growing. salmon. You'll, you'll learn about it. <laughs> Seriously, look up fish farming. Compared, I don't care. Compared to the ones in the being, ocean. Being a chemical engineer, they chemicals. Everything is chemistry. I mean, yeah. really, when you think about it, it like everything. I mean, time. your T-shirt is chemistry. This sign that you're wearing is made of oil. You know, these shoes that they're wearing are made of oil. The jeans they are wearing, well, maybe not so much oil. <laughs> okay. Or the asphalt they are standing on is made of oil. I mean, think about it. No, the buildings no, around you us. See what I'm talking about when you learn the... about it. Okay. That's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> but why do you like? I why do you like vegetables? Get you never answer this question. Oh, why why wouldn't do... I? I did since I was a kid. What's oh, I see. Like? But did you have? Beautiful dishes with vegetables. <laughs> did, did, did you ever try fish or meat? Have what I before? Yeah. Absolutely. And you didn't like yeah. it. Yeah. I didn't like it. I have compassion. I learned. Oh, I see. So I that's the reason. I learned what happens, and I, I, and got, I and choose stopped. not to anymore. At yeah. what age did you start doing I it? I wouldn't. Uh, my 20s. The 20s? Yeah, I wasn't raised vegan. Oh, I see. So. Okay, you look like early 20s, so I'm surprised. Oh, you're just being nice now. <laughs> okay, I got a good point. Okay. Good luck. Sure, thanks. Good luck to you. Thank you. Starts with one person, remember? <laughs> right? <laughs> Do you think one person can make a huge impact? What was that? I think a single person can make a huge impact. Yeah. Even build up momentum. Oh, absolutely, 100%. That, that's, that's true. You know, look, look at Hitler, for example. Just one person. Look at Lenin, just one person. They changed the world. I mean, completely changed the world. And this is in a negative way. You know, some people change the world in a positive way, but, you know, one person can do a lot, really. How much... How much probability do you think this movement would have of generating significant impact? Zero. Zero? Why is that? <laughs> because people love meat, A. In rich countries, they have the choice, because we keep on talking about the choice, okay? But what they do not understand, it's so easy. It's so easy living in the best country humanity has ever created, in part thanks to farming, of course, including animal and fish farming. To talk about not eating this, not eating that, but put yourself into the shoes of a poor Indian boy or a poor, let's say, Congolese girl who would kill, I mean, almost literally kill for a piece of, of food, any food. And of course, nothing is more nutritious and nothing is more sustaining, obviously, than meat. So I'm not thinking about first world country people. I'm thinking about the people around the world. So if you are really concerned about people around the world, well, then maybe this is where we should start. You know, making sure that there are no poor people in the world. Make sure that there are no babies uh, who are suffering from malnutrition. Right or wrong? I've thought about that matter myself. Okay. I also think about the rest of the world very deeply. Okay. In the sense that I have concern for the downtrodden. That you for what? For the downtrodden that you spoke Downtrodden, about. exactly. Did you live uh, abroad? Did you ever travel, you know? I traveled abroad, yes. You traveled. So, so you saw how people live. But did you live uh, outside the United States? Were you born in the States? Did I ever live for a long period of time? No. No. But you, you traveled, I'm sure, did you travel to poor countries? You, you know, that would as you put it, Mexico, exactly. See, I was born and raised in USSR. I was 29 years old when I came over here. Meat was a luxury over there. Even getting bread was, was, well, almost a luxury in some remote areas in the USSR. So, you know, what I am told, and imagine that uh, I am still in USSR, but that's in the past. But today, as I mentioned before, there are people in Africa, for example, who would, who would eat anything they can lay their hands on. I mean, imagine you come up to them and tell them, well, you know, I don't think that eating meat is a good idea. They will laugh at your face, they would say, give me any food, please, I'm starving. I'm starving, literally starving. Look at North Korea, by the way, where people actually have to eat other people. It's as bad as that. 
they resort to cannibalism. So that's what I'm saying. You know, it's it's so nice doing that in the first world country, but well, I'm concerned about the world, and the world needs meat. <laughs> the mode of the first world uh -huh. countries is not spread universally, so they don't have the same luxury to to have compassion for the meat-based. When uh, when I put you in a cage for a week without any food. Trust me, you will lose all the compassion. You can only have compassion when you're walking around with your tummy full. You know? <laughs> it's, it's right or wrong? For that, right. It's a matter that they need to survive. Yeah, exactly. That, that's, that's right. But if, if there's enough capital and means to spread what we have here to the rest of the world. Oh, this is completely wrong approach. And here's, here's why. Be careful. Once you spread the wealth that we've generated, thanks to our ingenuity, thanks most importantly and primarily to our system of governance, thanks to our American spirit, there'll be no wealth left. Everybody, everybody will be equally poor. I mean, really, that's what's going to happen. How about the, for the opposite to happen? The countries look up to America create the same system as we have in America that allowed us to be a first world country. It it's, it's, wasn't God given. We created this best country in the world, right or wrong. And nothing prevents other countries to be like us, really. I would love everybody to be like America. We? No, we are Americans. We, America became who we are because who we are and what we are, right? So for us, it was an experiment. For other countries, they can take this as a template. Here's, here's a template of the system that has been working successfully for over 200 uh, years, 240 years, right? So well, why, why wouldn't, instead of taking our wealth and giving, giving to other people who will uh, basically waste it anyway, why wouldn't they create wealth? What do you think? What makes you think that they would waste it? Because uh, we had experiments like that where they do waste it. You mean in South America and elsewhere? Well, including those countries here. Why, why are they poor? Why are you running to America? I mean, this is not their country. They have their own land, their own countries. Make them like Switzerland, make them like Denmark. I don't see many Danish actually crossing the border in the middle of the night, or Danes rather. There is a lot of corruption in the higher echelons. Where? Where? In basically every country. Well, exactly. So, so copy our system. Well, why would you copy our system? Do we have corruption in America? We do, and I think that that needs to be addressed with the first reformers in order to help those downtrodden that we spoke of. So it's our fault to think that they are downtrodden? Not uh, commonwealth, just those that promoted their own wealth, personal wealth. I see. And I think that has been a very big problem. I see. All right. <laughs> All right. You got it. All right. Nice talking to you. Like <laughs> See ya. They're going to do the speeches here and it's going to go that way. But wherever it's going to be, other shoes This is a horrible picture, huh? Oh, yeah. I try to find the worst so people will see them. I see. Oh. So, well, what do we do about it? Are you a vegan or no? No. No? No. no you're, not. Huh? you're not a vegan? No, I'm thinking maybe, I don't know, convince me to become a vegan. I love fish. Oh. I'll be honest with you. Mm -hmm. I love salmon. I eat salmon every single day. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I never get tired. I, I can't understand why. I thought, okay, maybe maybe another week, another week, another month. Uh -huh. I eat salmon every single day, and I, I'm not getting tired. Is this videotaping? Yeah, you don't mind, right? Uh -huh. I do, yeah. I don't oh, want you to do. Sorry, okay. yeah, I don't want to videotape right now, yeah. <laughs> All right, I thought you wanted to talk, discuss this issue. Yeah. All right. Thank you, though. Sure. <laughs>